Welcome to Slovak Republic on 30 years and I'm here in front of the presidential palace and here with my Croatian flag. You will ask me, am I confused like George W. Bush? I don't know the difference between Slovenia, Slavonia, Slovakia and why I'm here with a Croatian flag in the Slovak Republic. No, I call for a new strategic partnership between Croatia and between the Slovak Republic. And what can be achieved, why it must be done, because both countries have achieved amazing things. You are both in NATO, EU and the Eurozone and that's very good and in Schengen. And I call now uh, for these two uh, prime um, role models of European success to work together to achieve the following. First of all, it's very important that Hungary, Czech Republic and Poland also join the Eurozone and Romania. And Romania in Schengen and Bulgaria in Schengen. So the fulfillment of our unity agenda, all European countries in Schengen, all in the Euro, is very important for the countries who are already in the Euro because we will be much uh, more successful, more united. So that's important. Secondly, Croatia is also a very important country coming from ex-Yugoslavia. And I have the feeling here some in Slovakia are too focused on Serbia. And you have not recognized uh, Kosovo. And Croatia has, and they know of course the situation much better. So it would be very be uh, good uh, to also recognize Kosovo and build a partnership with Croatia. And this is very logical uh, for Slovakia and that's what I'm arguing. Additionally on the infrastructure, I'm calling for a new fast train which goes uh, somewhere between um, Bratislava and Vienna, east of Vienna, west of Bratislava, to Zagreb and then to Tirana. It shouldn't be uh, directly uh, the main line which is now going uh, towards um, the Semmering uh, and the Austrian Alps. No, we need through the Burgenland, through Hungary, uh, kind of um, probably east of the, of the lake, uh, from Bratislava more, uh, and south uh, towards Zagreb, uh, along the plains, uh, to go to Zagreb and then of course to Tirana and to Podgorica and to Patras. Yeah? This is needed. So you need a strategic partnership to achieve that. The Slovaks will be very fast at the coast. You have a new coast and you can connect uh, to the Rijeka fast train, obviously, for goods and services. That's very important. And that will be much better to have this new uh, fast train line. And that needs a Croatian-Slovak uh, initiative <laughs> to achieve that. Together with Hungary, obviously. That's always a big problem, <laughs> Hungary. <laughs> But uh, we can achieve already much in a partnership between Croatia and Slovakia and that would be really good for infrastructure, for Euro enlargement, for the Schengen, for the recognition of Kosovo and obviously for the support of Ukraine because both of your countries have done a lot. The Croatians unfortunately have not joined the training mission. That's a big problem. You can maybe talk to them to improve. And uh, the Slovaks uh, have, of course, a neighbor in Ukraine and you, there can be a lot achieved uh, to share information, to work together and to support Ukraine more. And this is what I hope. And also in the field of infrastructure and of energy and institutionally, there is a lot to be done. And there should be also a role model for all other countries. And the, slow, uh, the Croatians can, by the way, reduce the tax rates. <laughs> that would be very good. How to grow faster, that you can learn from the Slovak Republic. How to attract the automotive sector, how to reform. So there's a lot of learning in a Slovak-Croatian strategic partnership, which I hope to be built. You have the same friends in Washington, in Germany, and you're both in NATO, by the way, and you could please invite Austria to join NATO. That would be so good for me <laughs> and for the Austrians and for all Europe. So that's my call for the Croatian-Slovak strategic partnership and please build that in 2023 for success and victory. Unity is the answer to the Russian war. Thanks a lot here from Bratislava. Congratulations for 30 years of independence. Bye.